spicy paneer stuffed mushrooms. Hi and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. My name is Chef Radhika Desai, all the way from Portland, Oregon, United States, here to show you how to make lovely, delicious, and easy restaurant style food. Today we're making a really nice vegetarian dish, spicy paneer stuffed mushrooms. Mushrooms are one of my favorite ingredients. All these ingredients here. White button mushrooms, grated paneer, butter, garam masala powder, cumin seeds, fresh basil, ginger garlic paste, salt, red chili powder, fresh cilantro. I'm gonna start by turning our pan on. We want it on about medium-high heat. Use about two tablespoons of butter. Let this melt. One teaspoon, cumin seeds. Let those roast a bit. Then I'll add our ginger garlic paste, about one teaspoon. Red chili powder, half teaspoon. Garam masala. It's already roasted, so I can add it at this point. About half a teaspoon. Salt to taste. I'm gonna put about almost one teaspoon. So we'll just mix this. Oh, it smells so good. Ginger garlic paste, cumin, that garam masala. It's gonna be yummy mushrooms. Now to this, I'm gonna add our paneer. Just combine this. The paneer doesn't really need to fry. Just needs to absorb the flavor. Now I have some fresh basil. I'm just gonna chop it so I can put it in our filling. I'll roll it just like this. And cut it very carefully. Now because basil is so fragile, you wanna cut it really nicely and not bruise it too much. Otherwise it'll become black and that doesn't taste good or look nice. I'm just gonna chiffonade it like this. Just cut it. So now I have a bowl here for our paneer. I'm gonna take it out of the pan. So to our paneer, I'm gonna add this fresh chopped basil. And some sprigs of fresh cilantro. Now you can kind of mix and match, add any herbs, spices, whatever you like. I'm also going to garnish with the cilantro, so keep it out. I'm just going to combine our filling. It smells amazing. Can't wait to eat these. I remember on Saturday nights at the restaurant where I used to work, we would sell out of these early on in Saturday. People just devour them. So I have our mushrooms here, which I'm going to stuff. I have a fresh pan. And I'm gonna use butter to kind of baste the mushrooms. It means I'll melt it and then I'll keep a spoon so I'll continuously baste the mushrooms so that they're cooking in that butter. Lovely, lovely. Roasted mushrooms with this stuffing, so good. So I'm just gonna stuff our mushrooms and then roast them in the butter. This is also a good activity to do with friends if you're having a party to invite them over early. So now my mushrooms are all stuffed and I'm ready to roast them. I'll turn our pan on. I'll put all of our melted butter in. And I have a platter here waiting for me. And I'll just use some basil, fresh basil, to garnish our plate. And then I'll put some fresh cilantro on top. So it seems like a lot of butter, but it's not all going to be absorbed into the mushrooms. It'll give it a nice toasty flavor though. So now our butter is melted and I'll just add our mushrooms. I'll grab a spoon so that, like I said, I can baste the mushrooms. It smells so good. It's a really, really great vegetarian option. If you'd like to use meat, ground meat, that's a good option too, like ground chicken or lamb with the same spices. So now, I'm just basting our stuffed mushrooms so that the filling gets cooked and the entire mushroom gets cooked. Now be really careful when you're doing this because the butter is going to be hot. Now this cooking process will take about six to eight minutes. The smaller mushrooms of course will be done sooner. 
And if, even if you leave them on the pan for a little bit longer, they'll get nice and toasty and they won't become overcooked. They'll just be crispy. The butter, the basil, the mushrooms smell so lovely. So now it's been about eight minutes and I think our mushrooms are finished. I'm gonna turn off our heat and arrange them on our platter. Oh, these smell so good. Can't wait to taste it. And this is good for um, dinner with a salad or soup and also as an appetizer. So I think this is good to start with. And we'll just arrange some fresh cilantro on top. There you have spicy paneer stuffed mushrooms.